Mr. Red here. Today is September 28th. I'm in Bush, Louisiana. I'm on the ground. You know why I'm on the ground? Because of those bees right there underneath the trailer. Hope the camera can see that. Got a phone call from a mailman. Say, man, they're getting ready to move a trailer and they have bees in it. They need to have these bees removed and I was wondering if you can come out and get them. Well, yeah, I want to come get them. So the bees are underneath the trailer. We're about 17 miles from the Abbey. It's a beautiful morning. It's about right around 75 degrees. Sun's coming up about 8.30. But we're here to wrangle some bees. And by the grace of the God, these bees right here, they're going to come up to the Abbey and become Abbey honeybees. Let's wrangle. <laughs> wow, we are. Is that a hive? Oh my goodness. I am sure that that hive runs from the end of the trail right here to the beam and I'm certainly hoping that it doesn't go beyond the beam but it very well may I mean this this is gonna be a big hive there's no doubt about that all right they, they appear to be pretty gentle we're gonna find out pretty soon I'm simply gonna start vacuuming bees right away and once I vacuum some of the bees off, then I'll cut open the area. In fact, I think I'll just cut open the area, expose the hive, and then just start vacuuming bees. That way I can tell what the bees are doing, where they're running. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this a hive or what? And as I suspected, goes beyond the beam all the way to there there's a lot of empty comb of course I said that before and discovered honey on the inside but this hive is every bit of eight feet long and I don't know if it started to go into the other side of that floor space like it did over here but I'll find that out so I'm gonna set up the vac and I'm going to start vacuuming bees and then after I get the bee numbers down I'll start cutting comb but that seems like a lot of dry comb in here So I decided to start going ahead and removing the hive from the rear because I was very concerned about having these bees run back here. Now I apologize for not getting this on the video, taking this comb out of here. And it's all honey. It was all honey back here. But we were so far back under the trailer, I don't believe anything would have been able to be seen in the video. So I took the comb out and now let me show you a picture of that comb of what we took out of this spot right here. Now here's the comb that was removed from all that. Oh, this is some beautiful stuff. It's nice and dry. I'm going to be able to go ahead and put this stuff in frames and 
give it right back to the bees. Well, we are really deep into this thing now, and you know, there's just so many bees out here, I'm sure there's there's robbing going on, because we've been vacuuming bees for <laughs> literally hours. Let me show you what we have so far. Still got all this comb to go. We've already filled two ice chests, and now we're working on the third one. It's quite a job up in here. There's not a lot of room. And there's a lot of bees. And it, you know, it's really hard to tell the robber bees from the hive bees, but I can assure you there's robber bees here. There's just way, 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 way too many bees flying around. So I'm gonna get back at it. I'm gonna change the camera position. Hopefully I can get a better position and show you the comb as I take it out. Jesus, wow, we man, oh man, 
this is a battle under here, folks. And I tell you what, I, I don't think I'm winning, but I think we've crossed the line catching our queen on this one. So God's gracious with this queen. And hopefully we'll get these bees finished vacuum up. There's still a lot of bees and combs. Woo! What a great, great event now. <laughs> I'm very happy if you cannot tell. <laughs> All right. I promised that I would do a little talk on robber bees and what robber bees are. And what you're witnessing here is crazy robin going on. This is here we are, we're right at the beginning of October. Our nectar flow is just about ready to start, but it hasn't yet. And so the bees will just rob any other hive that's not protecting their honey. And there are just so many bees here, there is no way to differentiate between a hive bee and a robber bee here. There is just There is just so many bees in the air, on honey, it, it really is a mess. But thankfully, we got all our comb out of here. Let me give you a shot of that. Here is where the comb used to be. I'm telling you, that was a mess was a massive hive. The hive beetles, the robber bees, it's just like crazy in here. Get, a, get up a little closer and I can show you the rest of that hive. Now that is a shot of where the hive used to be. It's eight feet down the road down there. And I know you can hear the bees because it's a roar. And there's just no way, of, like I said, there's just no, no way of differentiating between high bees and robber bees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. By tomorrow, it'll all have been robbed out. And our high bees, they're gonna be cluster up somewhere. And I'll just vacuum them up. All right, so let's uh, take a look at our bees that we vacuumed, our honey, and her royal highness. So let me give you a shot of the ice chests with honey. I don't want it to be too long because all these bees in here, I don't want, I'm gonna get back to the abbey and vacuum them up because they're still plenty alive. Here's our second one. A lot less bees on this one. It's all honey in here. This is all honey. Now, this box right here has got the brood in it. And I gotta do this really fast because all these robber bees are still out here. So let me pop this open real quick to show you and close it. That's all that brood. Whew. Oh, there's a mess of honey on the bottom too. And this is all of our bees. There's got to be 30,000 bees in this box right now. Right now, oh, what time is it right now? It is 4.04. So, the time right now is 4 o'clock. I got here at 8.30. So you do the math and figure out how long this removal did. All right, let's wrap this video up. And Queen B center stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to believe this, but the homeowners, Elisa, Matt, and Brady, they've been here all day with the, with doing the, watching the cutout. And then I had Robert at the end. He was, I, I couldn't have done it, but he wasn't here. He was pulling all the combs for me. Uh, hand, putting, I was handing them off and he was taking care of all that, giving mom tools. So his help was indispensable. He's a brand new beekeeper, and, and he's fixing to, fixing to get his own, own bees. So that's all I got on this one. So y'all have anything to say? No, thank Come you. Come on, y'all gotta say something. He is amazing, <laughs> amazing. And Robert too, for the first time. 
what do you what do you oh yeah Brady got Brady got stung by not one but two bees while he was watching it first but, time yeah for the first time ever so he, he really took some hits on this <laughs> yeah. yes so thanks for watching keep on watching I'll be making more God bless Mr. Red and all this crew we're out here until the next video thank you It's Monday morning now. It's been two days since we took those bees out of that trailer and bush. And I'm back in the honey house. I came up here yesterday, squeezed all the honey, framed up about eight frames of honey that I can give back to the bees, and pretty much got everything in order so that when I got here today, I could then release the queen, put their honey on their hives, and get these bees set up. Also, I still gotta run out to bush and vacuum up the rest of the bees that are still hanging out at the trailer. So I'm gonna do all that stuff this morning. I'll give you a shot right now of, of the honey that I managed to squeeze out of that, all that comb. And this is what the remnants of the wax look like after I squeezed it. And it's up underneath it. Of course, that's where all our honey is. I'll get you a shot of that as soon as I pull the colander off. And I, I framed up eight frames of honey. Let me show you that over here. These are the frames of honey that I put in here. Right there. So we got eight frames of those. I don't think it's enough honey for those bees. There were so many bees. But it'll definitely start them out and then I'll start feeding these girls. All right, let's go turn that queen. So here are our bees. And as you can tell, I put the second deep super on already. There were so many bees in the bottom box where the queen is that when I undid the vacuum box, there were just so many bees still in that, there was no way they could fit in that box. So I added a second super on it. And more than likely, I'll take that super off right now and replace that super with the honey super and get these girls situated with that and see if there's enough room for them at that point. But if not, we'll see. I'm going to put that one back on. Let's go ahead and move that top super, take it off of there, find our, uh, where our queen is on in that cage, and go ahead and release her. What I'm going to do is take the top super off. I'm not going to remove the cover. I'm just going to take the whole box off because I don't want to get these bees all upset. I'm sure there's going to be lots of bees in this top box. And I want to do this without using any smoke. They have enough stress as it is. So let's go ahead and Pull this one off, set it down. Very good. And as you can tell, I mean, we have 10 frames of bees right here. And our queen is in this one right here. So let's pull this frame out to give me a little bit of wiggle room in here. This is the frame our queen is on, I hope. <laughs> yep, there she is. She's in our cage right here. So we're going to remove the cage right now. And we're going to put this frame back in place. Slide our frames back over. Drop in our tenth frame. Tighten things up. All right. Got all that set up. And we are now ready to release that queen. I'm gonna zoom in on that area right there and so hopefully you all be able to see the queen as she comes out as well. So I think I got things set up where you might be able to see it. 
You shake these bees off of it. You'll never be able to see it if we don't get some of them off of there. Oh, it's so full of bees inside of here. I don't even know if you will be able to see or come out. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to see it. All right, let's go ahead and turn it loose on these pile of bees. Let's see if I can... All right, I see her in there. Here she comes in. Let's see. <laughs> I lost her. Yeah. Well, that probably didn't go so well. They mauled her as soon as they <laughs> she was free. Let's see if I can. Now she's out of the cage. So she's in the mess. Now you didn't get to see it. Neither did I. But I know she's in there. Alright. While all these bees are being happy that mama's back in the box, I'm going to go ahead and grab that box of honey and put it on top of them. All right, I got the box and it's probably about 40 pounds. Let's try not to squish too many bees over here. So I'm gonna get them out. Good. Now we got our box of honey right here. Take a quick peek to see how many bees are in this top box. Oh my goodness. There's, <laughs> there's a bunch of bees up there too. They're cleaning that comb up already. Because it's just, I don't, I don't want to get all these things all upset. I'm just going to set this one back on top. And they'll come down all on their own. All right, and close this thing up. All right, now that that's done, let's get back into the honey house, bottle up some of that honey to bring to the homeowners, and uh, head up to Bush and set the bottle of <laughs> the, the tub of wax out on the back porch to let these girls start feeding on it. I want to set this one up before I did that because I didn't want that feeding frenzy to, to happen while I'm doing this. So now that this is all set up, I'm safe to do that and we'll set that up and I'll let them start feeding on that and you know I'm going to give you a shot of that. And this is what our honey looks like. I can't tell from the bat how much honey is in here. Looks like there's about three inches on the sides. Eh, I'd say minimally two gallons, maybe a little bit more. Let's go ahead and start bottling some of this up and bring it over to the homeowner. All right, so we're gonna grab our honey and the everything bee vac, and we're headed up the bush to vacuum up some bees. Well, I was certainly expecting to find more bees than this when I came back up here. Well, this is all there is. You have a few of them in the corner right here. There's a couple of more as we cool down here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the vac. We're backing these little girls up. Bring them back up to the Abbey and turn them loose. And once again, our Everything Bee Vac has performed flawlessly. I like this new design part of it where you can take the fan head off of the machine and now it vents for the bees, you don't have to run the motor any longer. And as I get closer in there, let's see if we can see the bees. Right there they go, there they are. There weren't that many bees left, but we got them vacuumed up. And we're gonna go ahead back up to the abbey and turn these girls loose. Look at this, folks. <laughs> it's like sharks swimming around waiting for the feed to happen. Man, oh man, these girls are ready. They, they, they know the dinner bell. Once that thing, once I drop that can, they start coming out. And they're ready. So let's not keep them waiting. Let me go ahead and bring out the colander of wax. Let these girls start feeding, huh? Hey, I'm out of here. 
give you a shot of <laughs> what they look like far off. Then we'll zoom in on it for you, huh? Let's go get a really close look. Cool 